Hey everybody, hi, welcome, and thanks so much for joining me and the sidekicks for today's video. Why is excited, huh? I got him off. <laughs> so he's super excited about this. What do you think? Zena's here too. Not quite as excited. <laughs> that might have been a snort of derision. I'm not sure. <laughs> She's too funny. What do you think? What was that? Oh, you too. Crack me up. So there's Zena. My silly girl. All right, and beside me, you can see a big pile because today's video is a should it stay or should it go video. And we're doing maxi dress edition. So I went through a phase where I loved maxi dresses. And then I went through a phase where I hated maxi dresses. So now I think I've landed somewhere in the middle and it is time for me to clean them up. What should I, what should stay and what should go? So I've got several dresses in this pile here, and we're gonna get right to the try-on since they're long and me holding them up isn't gonna work for a preview anyway. We'll just go right through them one by one during the try-on and you guys can tell me, should I keep them in my closet or should they go? I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the first maxi dress on, and this one is by INC. You can see I have the tag on much to my own chagrin. Apparently I bought this right before I decided I didn't like maxi dresses anymore and never wore it. So now that I'm back on the, I do kind of like maxi dress train again. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually surprised I never wore this. First of all, the length is perfect. I do like the um, fit at the top. It fits really well, it gives a nice line. So it doesn't make you look, you know, like it's too wide or doesn't fit well or not proportioned. So I think this is a cute one. I picture, I think my issue with maxi dresses was I didn't get the right season to wear them. So Pennsylvania is pretty tough. We kind of go from cold to hot and we really don't ever have an, a spring. So it's spring right now, but it's, you know, 50 degrees outside. So you, I typically would not grab one of these for 50 degrees. And I think that was always my problem. So then it would be 85 degrees and I didn't want to wear this. I would want to wear a shorts or a shorter dress, right? So I think that's where I struggled with maxi dresses. Anyway, I'm actually liking this one on. I picture this wearing this when it does warm up into the 60s maybe with a jean jacket and I think it would be super cute. So here's what it looks like. I love the length. The fit is good and for the first one I'm trying on I'm actually thinking I might want to keep this one. Especially since I never wore it I feel like I should give it a try but here's a closer look. And we'll call this one uh, the INC. And what print is this? Does it tell me? Zebra? Yeah, the INC Zebra. All right, let's do the next one. So next up is the turquoise loft maxi dress. So this one has a little bit of a blouse and waist to it. It also has the twisted straps it also fits well. The length is great. I love these. <laughs> I just love these clear shoots. I got a trunk hole blusher because I can just wear them with all of these dresses. Awesome. So this does also create an awesome line. I do like how it blouses out here and makes it, makes it look like I have a tiny waist, which is not really true, but it's fantastic looking. Um, yeah, this actually does look kind of cute. I'm not sure that I love the little twisted straps. Um, that might, yeah, that's probably the, my least favorite thing about this particular dress. The color is beautiful. I don't mind. I love the blousey creating the waist look here. Don't really love the twisted straps. Here's what it looks like. I'll get a little bit closer so you can see what I mean about these straps. All right, this one's number two, stay or go. And we'll go on to the next one. So next up is this color block dress by The Limited. So it's rather fit, uh, form fitting as you can see here with the under part. And then it has this overhang and this turquoise that's looser fitting. The length is good, the fabric is nice, the colors are nice. I'm not sure what I feel about this hangover piece. Here's what it looks like. What do you guys think of this one? 
it's different. I'm sure I was probably drawn to the colors. I can't decide what I think about this one. And what kind of jacket would I wear over top of it? I guess you could still put a jean jacket over top of it. Um, I wonder if you could like knot this and make it more form fitting or if it's too short for that. Seems like it's probably too short, huh? You almost have to pin it, make it look like you knotted it. I don't know if I like that better or not. Does that look any better to you guys if it were more form fitting? Keep the color block look, but make it a little bit more form fitting as opposed to that loose part. I think that's what I don't like about it is the looseness. All right, let me know what you guys think. Number three, limited color block. I'll get a little bit closer. And we'll go to number four. So next up is this Kevin Klein High Low um, with the striping and it's super comfortable. It is probably just the right length in the back with a heel. If I did not have a little bit of a heel on, I think I'd be in trouble. It is super comfortable, super silky on. It does go in at the waist, which is nice. Now I have these belt loops and I did not find the belt, which I'm assuming I have a tie belt somewhere. So I'll have to find that for you. Here's what it looks like. I'll have to find that. I did grab a belt in the interim to just try on with it. So you guys can see what it looks like with a belt since I could use any belt. Otherwise I would have to cut off the belt loops and not do a belt. So here's what it looks like with a belt. I'm assuming the one I have for this is probably a tie belt. And I do think this one's cute as well. I like the higher high low look to this one. What do you guys think? Should this one stay or should it go? I'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see the print. Pretty. It has blues, blacks, greens, and whites in it. All right, let's do another one. All right, so next up is this White House Black Market Zebra print maxi dress. It has the slit in the front, as you can see here, and it has a little embellishments here at the sleeve. It has the band around the probably more of an empire waist and the true waist, and then pleats all the way down. Here's what it looks like. And this is a really pretty dress as well. Where would I wear this? Someone help me decide where would I where would I wear this? I think I have not reached for this because it's a little dressy. I do need a little bit higher heels. I did not swap out my bra for this one, so I would have to um, probably wear a strapless bra with this. My heels would have to probably be at least another inch higher so I don't step on it. Um, but I feel like I would need something, I could almost wear this more formally. It's, it is a very pretty dress. You guys tell me what you think. Should I keep it or should it go? Here's what it looks like a little bit closer. This is many years old now. Hmm. This one might be a tough one for me. All right, we'll keep going. This one is the White House Black Market Zebra. Should it stay or should it go? All right, let's keep moving. So this next one is by The Limited. It's the blue and green stripe, and it's a super easy tank dress. It has a little pocket here on the chest, like a regular, like a, just a tank style, 
very comfortable. This fabric is fabulous. The length is perfect as the T-style back and it's in this fun blue and green. What do you guys think of this one? This would look super cute with a jean jacket and sandals like I have on. Easy outfit to go out. This one would be comfortable, I think, especially for stay-at-home styles. Once oh, the weather starts to warm up, this might be a good go-to for being at home. I really wouldn't need an occasion to wear this one. This one I could just stay home in. Here's a little closer look. And this one is number what? One, two, three, four, five. This one's number six. Limited blue and green stripe. All right, I have two more for you. Let's do it. All right, so this next one is by Vince Camuto has this little sheer overlay, as you can see. So it almost looks like it's a short dress with a sheer overlay over top of it. it. has the slits on both sides. And otherwise, it's just a regular scoop neck. It has a zipper in the back. What do you guys think of the sheer overlay? Is that fun? I like this also. <laughs> This is the first time I've done one of these, should I stay or should I go, where I'm almost leaning towards keeping most of these. Um, I've never done that before. Usually I get rid of everything um, or keep one item. So this one is uh, also a fun little dress now that I'm trying it on. And I'm getting back into whether or not I like maxi dresses. So this one's fun. I don't think I have any need to buy any new ones, that's for sure. So I kind of like the idea of this sheer um, overlay over top of this dress. Hopefully the camera is picking it up and you guys can see that. So I think this one's number seven by Vince Camuto, the sheer overlay. I'll get a little bit closer. What do you guys think? All right, and let's do the last dress. Okay, and I have the last dress on. This one is also by The Limited, an easy, nice tank dress. This one actually has pockets, how about that? And again, a nice material, pretty much the same as this one. Uh, and it, this one is not a racerback style. No pockets at the top this time. Love this orange and white stripe. It's kind of very springy, summery. I'm actually liking this one also. <laughs> this is crazy. So I actually do like this. It's another great stay-at-home style dress. Throw on a jean jacket or as if the temperatures actually warrant it, I wouldn't need it. But this is cute. I could probably wear this one with flip-flops. It does look like it comes above my uh, foot, which would be nice. <clears throat> Love the pockets. I just have to point out the sidekicks here. So even Xena has stayed in place and has slept through this entire video. Why is on the opposite end of the couch? She's out as well. They don't even pay any attention that I'm talking about them right now. So these are my co-hosts and this is how they participate. Job well done. <laughs> Their sole job is just to be cute apparently, right? All right, so I'm liking this one as well. This one's cute. All right, Zena, you know I was talking about you? so funny. Okay, that is all of them. So, what should stay in my closet and what should go? This is the question. I thought this one was really pretty and I'm thinking I should wear this one before I get rid of it. So, I'm leaning, I'm leaning towards keeping this one. This one I thought actually looked really pretty on as well. I don't love the twisty straps. So, this one is a maybe. Not sure about this one, very different. I actually liked it much better without the top, you know, the, 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 the turquoise part being really loose. If I could find a way to make that tighter, I think I would like it much better. This one was super cute too, the high-low was fun, easy. This is gorgeous on, if I had somewhere, 
little bit more formal to go. I don't, but it might be nice to keep it in case I do. Hopefully we'll all have somewhere to go here soon. This was just an awesome tank dress, <laughs> as is this one. These are just fun for hanging at home, right? See? Aren't they cool? And then we have this one, the overlay. What did you guys think of this one? So surprisingly, I actually didn't think this was a bad lot of dresses. What did you think, Zena? Huh? You have a hair in your eye? Let me get it for you. So I didn't actually think these were bad at all. I think that when I picked all these dresses, I didn't do too, too badly. But if I had to get rid of some, which ones do you think should be eliminated <laughs> from my closet? Let me know. I will list these all for you down below. I'll try to put them at the end of the video as well so you um, can tell me which ones you think should stay and which ones you think should go. Did you think that was good, Z? <laughs> all right, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for your help and helping me try to purge some things out of my closet. So last Should It Stay or Should It Go video, we did boots. And I had a pair of booties in there as well. And I think we had seven pair of boots and booties, right, see? And I decided out of that collection, for now, I only kept one pair, and that was the booties. So I let, let all of the tall boots go, and I decided to just keep the laser-cut booties in my closet for now, and everything else I got rid of. All right. So next video, I will share with you what I kept and what I perched. So please, please, please comment below and weigh in and let me know what you think should go and what you think should stay, right? <laughs> Zena doesn't know I have no treats in here, so she's going to be really upset when we wrap up. All right, please, please, please hit like. I would love it if you would hang out for the long haul. Hit that subscribe button. It does help me. It helps my channel, and it really helps me continue to bring you content. If you already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of happy, lots of really great wishes, well wishes, healthy wishes to you and your families um, during this very challenging time we're all going through right now. So lots of prayers to all of you. Please take care of yourselves. Please take care of others. I hope you have everything you need. Um, yeah, and um, we will get through this. Until next time, everyone, please have an amazing day. Bye.